If the measure of angle A is 130 degrees, more than four times the measure of angle B, and the sum of the measures of the two angles is 180, what is the measure of each angle? So we need to translate these words into symbols. So if the measure of angle A, so this M stands for measure, the measure of angle A is, is translates into equal. So if the measure of angle A is 130 degrees more than four times the measure of angle B. That's the first three lines. And they also say that the sum of the measure of the two angles is 180. So if you were at the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B, that would add up to 180. That would be the sum. Now that's a lot of scribble. It's probably easier. Just let the X, let the X represent the measure of angle A. So it's easier to write an X than M angle A. So this is the X, the measure of angle A is X equals four and let the measurement of angle B be a Y. It's easier and quicker to write. Plus 130. Number two, the measure of angle A, which we're calling X, plus the measure of angle B, which we're calling Y, equals 180. So this looks simpler. It's easier to look at this than this, and they mean the same thing. So we're going to work with the X's and Y's, where X is a measurement of angle A, and Y is a measurement of angle B. So these two equations come from reading this paragraph. Now notice I wrote the two equations again, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this x by this. It says that x equals 4y plus 130 degrees. So wherever there's an x, you could put 4y plus 130 degrees. So you replace this x with this quantity. You put it here. Notice that's this one here. The y is still there, the 180 is still there, the equal is still there. And the advantage of doing this substitution is that after the substitution, you just have to deal with one letter, one variable. Instead of x and y, all of them are x's or all of them are y's. In this case, all of them are y's. Now that they're all y's, all you have to do is get that y by itself. So 4y plus y is 5y. Here's a 130. Here's the equal, that's 180. Now we just need to move the 130 over by subtracting and then divide by five to get the y by itself. So we get the 130 to the other side by subtracting. So we cancel this, but if you subtract 130 from one side of the equation, you have to subtract 130 from the other side. And 180 minus 130 equals 50. This five y is right here. So now I just divide both sides by a 5. This 5 over 5 cancels to 1. 1 times y is y. And 50 divided by 5 is 10. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. 1 times y is y. 50 divided by 5 is 10. So now we had said that y was going to represent the measurement of angle B. So now we know that the measurement of angle B is 10 degrees. So what you do now is plug this information into one of the two equations we started off with. So here's the second one that we wrote, the second equation we, we wrote. So now that we know that y is 10, replace the y with this 10, move the 10 over by subtracting, and you have x equaling 170 degrees. So now we know that the measurement of angle A equals 170 degrees.